and welcome to this video that is going to give you all the instructions for the various squat movements that are in our lockdown challenge that we're currently running uh, with Dig Deep with Pretty Gritty. If you stumble across this video on YouTube and you're wondering what on earth that challenge is, we're going to put the details of the challenge down in the description for the video and then you can visit the Facebook page and if you're female, join in with the fun. So this, we're going to try and keep it really concise because there are a lot of squat movements to go through. Um, each of the squat movements, you'll see the name of it on the screen, so if you're trying to find it later on, you hopefully can forward find the video and um, get to the move that you're looking for. So, without further ado, starting with the first move, Katie, what is the first simple squat? Simple squat, just a simple squat. Okay, so feet hip distance apart, and you're just going to sit back and down, bending at the knees, knees tracking directly over your toes, and when you look down, you should be able to see your toes poking out in front of your knees. If you can't, you're not sticking your bottom out far enough. So just sitting back and keeping your shoulders and your back upright. Okay, next one, squat pulse. Okay, three pulses. Two, three. Three. Exactly the same. Same position with the legs, but you're just keeping down low for three little pulses and then standing back up. Okay. Squat hold. Okay. Whew. Squat, hold for five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and up. Okay, that. Uh, next, two more squats. Okay, so wider legs this time. Toes are pointing to the corners of the room, and then you're going to squat down and back up. Again, try and keep your shoulders and your back straight rather than slumping forwards. Side tap squats. Okay, so go down, tap, tap, and back up. And then squat, um, doo -doo -doo, narrow squats. Okay, I'll let you have a hand out right here. Yeah, well, this is, <laughs> instead of shoulder width, width apart, you're coming in slightly more. It's much more difficult, you have to really concentrate on making sure that your bottom goes backwards, and you don't lean forward okay. too much. Okay, so, slightly different muscles. Yeah, do you know what I feel like that's like? Skiing? Like yes, some kind of ski. parallel skiing. <laughs> that's it, <Yeah. laughs> Squat jumps. Okay, so same position again, feet and hip distance apart. You're going to squat down, and then instead of just standing up, you're going to use a propulsion and jump up. Like Ooh. so. You can use your arms Lovely. for momentum. And uh, squat down with a heel lift. Okay. So this one, same squat position. We're squatting right down so that your hamstrings are almost touching your calves, mm -hmm. and then you're lifting your heels off. I'm holding it for five seconds. Ooh. Three, two, one, and return. Requires a bit of balance, that one, doesn't it? Does. it? Cossack squats. Now that's like the uh, Russian dancing, isn't uh, it? Ah, yes. So we're going really wide. Uh -huh. We're taking the weight on the leg that's bent. You're lifting uh, your toe. And the idea with this is that this foot remains planted. Uh -huh. We don't go down and start lifting. No, so once yeah. your heel starts to lift, you come back up. That's as yeah. far as you can go. Yeah, so mine starts lifting about there, so mm -hmm. I'll stop. That's your cross side. And wall sits. Now, those are not the bolts in there. Yeah. <laughs> so for those, just find a firm surface that you can lean on body weight back against and the really important thing is that you've got a 90 degree angle at your knees so if you come up a little bit higher it's easier so if you're trying to do them properly wriggle all the way down so that you sat at the dinner table is that not close so I, I, I'm, I'm a bit concerned <laughs> <laughs> prisoner squats this just makes it slightly more difficult because your hands are taking out the equation you're not okay. using them as balance so it's just squatting down normal squat but with your hands and it just makes you think about leaving your chest, your chest up. Up. No. Yeah. The Bulgarian split squat. I need yeah. a bench for this one. Would you like to do a Bulgarian no, squat? No, I'd like you to do oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just <laughs> toes on the bench and find a position that's comfortable. Quite a lot of balance involved. Yeah. Isn't it? And then it's going down again. 90 degrees on on the leading leg and straight back up again 
as is the case with all these, any, any exercises that are with a single leg, you'll probably find you've got one leg that you feel like you've got good balance and stability and strength, and then you'll go to the other side and you'll wobble yeah. all over the place. But that's and with why. this one, just make sure that you're not in a position where you're already leaning forward before you start, and then you take a stride mm. and you're all off balance. It needs to be going up and down. Yes. Laterally. Goblet squat. Here we are. So we need a weight for this one. Yeah. There we go. Look at you giving me the big one. <laughs> Holy <laughs> sleep. <laughs> so up to you how you hold it. But we're just making it a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. We're just squatting in the usual way. Okay, so you don't lift the, the weight as we all. of a stance. Is that in? More like a curtsy almost, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's it. Fantastic. Yeah, through them all. Okay, so hopefully you can now use that video uh, for any of the ones that you're not familiar with. Just zip through and watch us practicing it and then carry on following the plan. Brilliant. Okay, thank you. Happy squatting. <laughs> See you.